What is going on guys, it's Clutch once again and this is way overdue, yes that's right, it's another episode in the Road to Glory, I uh, finally got my new Xbox so I can continue this series once again, um, the Orange Vets series will also be continuing for all of you that I've been asking, I uh, just haven't had time to trade so that's why I've put that on a bit to the side for a little bit, um, I will have an episode tomorrow or, or in the next few days so don't worry about that, but as you can see I thought um, since I'm practically starting again with this Road to Glory because it's been so long, might as well start with a new team. So I'm gonna build a new team. Um, I still ha I was already in the tournament that we started in the last episode, so I decided to carry that on on with the team before I um, actually play the match with this team. I'm still in the process of building this new team as well. So um, the next few episodes will be trading to get the actual team. Um, but this episode, I've got a few games with. Um, the Serie A team that I was building, but I I just didn't like it. Um, I got a bit bored because I've played with I've had a Serie A team since the start of FIFA 12, like on all my team. So I just want something different. And first game in this tournament in the quarter final, it's not exactly going to be easy with that team. It's got five defenders as well, so it should be pretty hard to break down. But I was wrong. Uh, this guy was actually pretty easy to get past and as you can see there Barretta with a nice baby spin cuts inside and finishes nicely uh, he's one of my favorite silver strikers um, he's way well underrated he is an absolute tank um, but yeah this game went completely different to how I thought I thought it would be a hard game but he didn't really challenge me too much um, I think he did have a couple chances but I managed to keep him out for the majority uh, but Barreto absolutely tore through his defence, as you can see here he's just going on his hair, lovely roulette, rainbow flick and I'm unlucky there, didn't didn't score that, it would have been nice to get that goal, but um, what can you do, going to push on for more goals and once again Barreto, some nice skills, trying to get past his defence and goes out for a corner, I, I'm really good at my corners but this I cannot I can't take any credit for, I got completely lucky. Um, bit of an unfortunate goal for him to concede, but every goal counts and I will take it. Um, Keko's another great player that's um, underrated. Not many people know about him, but he's um, a silver player in the Italian league and he has four star skills. And he doesn't have too much pace, but he's still a great player. But um, right here. He gets through my defence and he should, really should have punished me there, he should have, should have scored, at least got it on target. But he didn't quite do that. And once again Keko, it was Keko and Barreto showed this game really. Um, Breezing past his defence but I've missed my opportunity. Um, that's another main theme of this episode. I do miss quite a few chances and it did get pretty frustrating at times but um, I really don't know what the hell that was. What the donkey fuck was that? That was a terrible finish. Um, but yeah, um, first game wasn't too bad. Um, the second game was a bit more frustrating, as you'll see in a bit. Um, another missed chance right there. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, um, Orange of Etsy coming in a couple of days at the max. Um, I've also got my UFC series to continue. But I haven't really had much time to do a lot lately. I've been hooked to football manager, I'm not gonna lie. I can't really say that I've been busy, but I've been doing that and streaming and other stuff. Uh really should have finished up with Malkizio just there. Just noticed that. And this is another missed chance with Elliot. My shooting was so terrible this like yesterday, because I recorded these games yesterday and this guy decided he, he'd had enough, he didn't really want to play me anymore. Um, second game, another decent Serie A team. Uh, he's got three informs and some, he actually has some good players, so I expected a bit of a challenge and the challenge is what I got. Um, one thing that I did realise about this guy, he had quite a few custom set pieces and you can see one of them right here. It's pretty nice, finds a boat hanging loads of space and should have really got that on target but it was a nice corner um, I think I gave away quite a few corners against him and every time I gave one away I was nervous because he had like four different set pieces and 
they all cut me apart and he should have scored on at least one of them but he didn't managed to get lucky quite a few times and I got lucky there with that Barreto goal but as I, as I always say every goal counts and right here I don't know what, what Arthur Boric was doing tried to keep him on his line but he didn't want to listen so I got punished for that but after that it was just chance after chance after chance that I missed I only added a few in because it was too many it would have made the episode way too long but right here that should have been the, the winning moment but unfortunately he hit the post and it goes to penalties and he beats me uh, this is actually the first penalty shootout that I've lost in quite a while um, I'm usually good at penalties but uh, I was a bit predictable in this one I just kept going to the left and eventually caught on and there's the winning save right there and got knocked out of the semi-finals which is a bit of a bummer wanted to go all the way and win the trophy um, first trophy of the series but it wasn't to be and I bought Rafael Sobies for 400 coins which is a pretty cheap so I'm proud of that um, as you can see, I got a free defender formation, three, four, one, two. Uh, this is a skill team that I'm building. Uh, not too sure if anyone's done a squad builder on it. I'm actually going to do a squad builder on that later today. Uh, it won't be up today though because I don't have time. Uh, I do have seven, seven, five star skillers in that team though, so that that'll be fun to play with. I've already played with it on my main account, and it's safe to say I'm enjoying it. Um, right here. I'm just sending everyone to the trade pile because I'm going to sell them all because I have no intention of using this team anymore. Um, I think that's what I'll do with the majority of my teams, have a cup run and if it doesn't go successful I will sell them all and then I will try and start again and try and build a better team that I can actually win a cup with. Um, if I, I think that if I actually gave it another go I could actually win the cup with them but I decided I just wanted to start a fresh team and get moving and build that second squad. Um, it's a it's a hybrid, so it's not a specific league that I'm going for. Um, you'll see what it looks like when I'm done. But actually, if you follow me on Twitter, then you'll already know what it looks like because I did tweet about it the other day. Um, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, I'll leave that in the description. So make sure you follow me there uh, because I do also have some bonus clips I upload like, every every week. I upload at least three of them uh, so there's bonus content and you also get to find out what's going on in my life like I'll give you my updates on everything as well and as you can see uh, quite a few of them sold uh, Elia, Marquisio, Cordoba, Giovinco, Obaday, um, says and Cicino all sold and that put me up to around about seven and a half K um, so that should help nicely in getting the team the the team that I'm building, um, it costs around 22k overall. Like that's with players like slightly overpriced as well, but it cost me around that to buy on my main account. Um, I doubt Arthur Birch will sell without a contract, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's my intentions. I'm gonna. I should get a few good, good goals with that team, but um, that's the end of this episode, guys. Um, I think I'll upload another video today, but if not, then there'll definitely be one tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to check out all my links in the description, my Twitch TV, my Twitter, and you can also click the screen for the previous episode in the Road to Glory. It's been a while, so you might want to check that out. Uh, we've also had quite a few new subscribers since then, so if you want to check out the rest of the series i'll probably make a playlist and you can check that out but anyway thanks for watching guys it's been clutch peace